today's video we're going to show you guys how to root your Verizon Galaxy Note 3. This has just been released just this other day. Uh, I think yesterday evening got released and here we go. This is going to be the video on it. So I'm going to go over some prerequisites for you just to make sure that you're, we're all on the same page here when we're talking about this. First thing I want you to do is to go to About Phone and make sure that your device is this device name or model number of SM dash N 900 V that is the Verizon model number for the Galaxy Note 3 then I don't know if it works in any other builds right now this is the only build that's out for this device which is the MI 9 build number so it's very important that those two things are consistent for you to use this uh, Odin flash that we're going to do to get root access on this device um, so besides that, the other things you're going to need to know is this is a full wiping um, root process. So it's going to wipe out any apps you've downloaded. Basically do a factory reset on your phone. It's going to even wipe your um, internal SD card. So those things are all important to know before you start this process if you want to back anything up before you start it. Lastly, the last step that they say to do is to go ahead and open up the back. Take out the micro SD card right there. Micro SD card, take that out. Put the back back on. And there we go. And you can see there's actually says there's an uninspected error with the SD card being removed. You know, whatever. You can probably better to do it with the power off, but it shouldn't be an issue. Um, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and power off our device. Uh, okay, and we're going to put our device in Odin mode. To put our device in Odin mode or download mode, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your home button, you're going to hold your vo volume down button on the side, and then your power button, and just keep holding them obviously from the powered off state, and you're going to see this screen that talks about you know flashing custom OS's and it says hit volume up to continue and you're going to hit this screen. So there's some good information up here. It says you're on official, um, currently official Samsung and your status is official and a bunch of other information about your knock sensor and warranty and things like that. From here what you're going to do is go ahead and plug in your USB 3.0 cord you got with your device right there into the device. All right, sorry about that. There we go. So we are plugged in. And from here, we're going to go over to my computer and set up the Odin program and show you guys how to flash this device. The phone is set up right here. Also important, have good battery life before you start this flash, um, just in case it takes a little while to run. Probably going to run 10 minutes. So you want to have good battery life. I prefer 90%, 100% if you can do it. This is what we're working with over here on the computer. This is actually the form right here that I was using um, and gives you full instructions on how to do this. So there's some downloads in here and I will link all this stuff right here for you guys so that you can follow it and read the form and get the download links and everything like that. Um, so that being said, basically what you're gonna download is this right here, this root file and it's going to once you you know double click on it and hit extract this is 7-zip program I'm using so I recommend downloading 7-zip you can google it it's free no big deal download it install um, then you're going to have this right here a file I, I named it root but you should see these files right here alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna run this Odin 3 or version 3.09 exe and it should run this program and this is where you're going to go ahead and flash everything. So the important things to note in here is that you are on COM3, or I should say 13, is what mine says. You just need to be on a COM and a number. It doesn't matter what the number is. It just needs to say COM. And you should say something here that says added. That's also important to know that that proves that your drivers are installed correctly and your device is seen in this program. The program actually sees the phone and knows it can actually flash to it. If you need the Samsung drivers, I will give you those in a link in the video description as well. Um, so, from here, you're just going to go right here and hit AP. And you're going to click on the root file. 
it found it automatically for me, so that wasn't too big a deal. So this is root uh, Spanish stuff. De La Vega Tar MD5, and you're just going to double click on it. And what's going to happen is this thing's going to check the MD5 sum of the of the uh, root file, I guess you could say. And it's just going to make sure that everything looks good and everything matches, so that it's a good file to flash. Should take just a second. Okay, so that took about yeah 30 seconds or so, and you can see that it's completed. And you can see now that that file we picked is listed over here on the side. From here, we're ready to flash this thing. You don't have to change anything else. Just make sure you actually don't change anything else. When the program opens, it should be just like this. You should have this checked and this checked. And when you pick that file, you'll, you'll have that file. That should be all you have. Don't check anything else up here. It's quite dangerous actually to do that. And make sure you're on obviously PA, not PIT or something else like that. So from here, we can go ahead and hit start and it's going to go ahead and start doing flashes. Up here you can see some progress right here. You can also see a progress bar down here on the device and it will go through as it goes. When it is done it should reboot. So guys this is going to run through here. The, probably the biggest file is this system file. This whole file uh, that we're flashing right now is about 1.3 gigs. Um, so it's a pretty good sized file. This is probably going to take upwards of about five minutes um, to flash so it's very important you do not bump your USB cables or your phone cable any of that stuff or the computer doesn't die or anything like that they cause a major problem um, so we're going to let this go through I'll show you as it does some more things up here flashes a couple more things so as you guys can see the uh, progress down here is almost complete and it's almost done flashing system in Odin um, so let's just see if it flashes anything else after system Okay, so um, it just said reset and removed. You can go ahead and see, guys, that we're rebooting here into some kind of a recovery. Uh, I'm not sure if this is stock recovery or what this is, but it's actually flashing something right here. Um, so that's interesting. It looks like kind of a stock recovery, but I'm not really sure why it's doing. I know it's part of the hacking process here to get root access. I'm not really sure why it does that, but it is. So just go ahead and let that run and then the device should do a full reboot here which probably would take a little longer than a normal reboot because it has to rewrite cache partition because normally you get to like here and it already boots because this thing's got that three gigers really really fast um, so let's just see what we got like I said it should take a little bit longer because we're, re we're redoing that cache and there's a, quite a few more steps actually involved in this so once it finishes rebooting, we're still plugged in down there, you can see with the USB cable. Um, we just want to let it finish booting so that we can actually install some files. So we got to go through some setup really quick right here guys. So we should be fully booted at this point and we are still plugged in. And I just want to get to there. That is how I want it set. So we're connected. Now let's go to my computer and um, now that we're fully booted we'll finish the next couple processes here. Okay, so you guys can actually see this right here, which is interesting over here on the computer, that it actually said pass, which is good. And, um, yep, so that's all passed. And you actually opened up this file right here because the device is fully booted. So we're actually going to close that. But once you've passed right here, you can go ahead and exit Odin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this file right here and send it over to our device. All right, guys, on the computer, you should see this now right here on your device. And you can click on it. And this is considered the root of the SD card, um, which is very easy to get to. So what we're going to do is on SD card, we're actually going to take this right here, these two files, and we're going to extract them. So extract, and then I'm just going to name them SD just to make sure I know what I'm doing. All right, there we go. And hit OK. And they're right here, and we're just going to take them both and copy. Go to our uh, phone here, which is SD, and paste them right in here. So you should have one here and one here. That's where you want them. So at this point we can go ahead and close this 
and follow the next part of the instructions. We cap it into the root of the SD card right here. Um, so it's very important after fully booting. So it says right here, reboot is the next step. So let's go back to our phone. Okay, so here we are in our device. I put those files over and we're just gonna do a reboot. It says restart and hit restart. A couple processes you have to do here to fully root this device. This is one of them right here. I'm not sure this is gonna boot us into recovery again or how this is gonna function. Um, I'm a little bit curious myself. So let's just uh, see what happens here. Um, so there we go, it says Android is upgrading. It's obviously doing something there partially with the root process. So we can unlock and we should be good there. Let's go ahead and go back to the computer now. Okay, so we're back on the computer. I'm going to open up my files and we should see if our device is connected correctly, which you should be, yep, right here. You should be able to come back in here and then it says to delete these two files. So we're going to take this one and this one, highlight them both and then say delete and it should be deleted so from here we'll close this out and the next step right here is extremely important it says to reboot so we'll reboot our device again so here we are on the device power open it up and go ahead and we'll do that reboot one more time reboot and this should be our final step once we're done with this reboot we should be able to reinstall our SD card. Now, you can see that this does say custom. Um, there's nothing you can really do about that. It's going to do this right now. It's going to be permanent like that. It's always going to say custom because you have changed stuff on the device. It's not a big deal. Everything's going to boot normal with it, that custom symbol down there, but that is going to be in there. The only way to get rid of that, I think, is to, uh, to install exposed framework, and there's some hacks you can do that will get rid of that from showing up but it is going to be there otherwise but like I said not an issue um, so we should be actually fully fully rooted so we're going to just going to go here and see we have super suit installed and yeah that's that's pretty much it um, we should be fully functional here so at this point I'm going to do my last quick step is just go ahead and power this off shut down and I'm going to unplug my cable I don't need it anymore Last thing to do here would be put back in my SIM, if I can ever get my finger in my phone. There we go. And I'm going to pull the battery this time to do it. And slide my, uh, not my SIM, I should say my micro SD card back in. Put the battery, massive battery back in. Put the back back on. And that's looking good repower the device that boots in like insane amount of time which is awesome there's that custom logo again and we're gonna boot back up last thing I'm gonna do is really quick is go ahead and check root get download root checker from the App Store and just show you guys we have root access and there it is gonna boot right there boom look at that dude that's the slick slick it's slick all right, I got to log in, so I'm going to come back to it when I finish logging in here. Okay, like I said, guys, the last step here is download Root Checker. And this is just for to prove that you actually have Root. You can do this with any application. And go ahead and ask for a Root Access. There it is. Super Sue Grant. Congratulations, this device has Root Access. Voila. That is it. That is the beauties. There you go. That's it, guys. That is how to get Root Access on your Verizon uh, Galaxy Note 3, there it is, pretty simple, not too bad, a little Odin Flash, a couple quick steps, and you're, you're ready to roll. Uh, as always, guys, check me out at Facebook or Twitter on the side. You can follow me at uh, RootJunkie.com right over here, and that's it. Catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out.